Is that, ow, oh, damn it. Ah, threw my shoulder out. I wanna show you something really quick, actually. Um, check out this lock here. So this one is my big Congo on the side. And uh, what I did is I had like a bunch of fingers on the end of it, like this. So I'm actually trying something here and, and I, I put a rubber band here and here and up here to see if it will Congo them together. Because on the 8 and 9 website, Instagram page, there's a guy who models for them and he's got some freeform walks. He's got rubber bands all down there. It reminds me of Brick DeGenero. He's got rubber bands on his too to kind of keep them together. And I've seen people in Florida with wicks using rubber bands to kind of put them together. So I'm experimenting to see if these rubber bands will put this lock into one here. But it's that guy! And I'm here doing another Dread review. Uh, someone that's already been mentioned this channel a few times in a row. Uh, a, a fellow viewer shouted out this uh, in the comments a couple weeks ago, so I checked it out. And today's video is definitely about the weekend, the weekend, and the evolution of his freeform locks. So make sure you stay tuned, stay subscribed, because this is the best in not lock content. <laughs> So welcome to the channel. Once again, it's Friday, Freeform Friday. Really quick, I gotta put a quick plug in here for my vlogs channel. If you haven't checked it out just yet, uh, head over to Not Vlogs. I got a lot of daily vlogs on the on the every day coming up here. Uh, so if you're interested in what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, definitely come check out some of these vlogs. Subscribe, share a like. You know what it is. But you know what today's video we're on um, the weekend. So taking a look at the weekend's evolution of his freeform locks. There was. A cool website that a fellow um, viewer recommended for me called the weekendbible.com slash hair and it shows you the full evolution of the weekend's hair um, just really quick if you are unfamiliar with who um, the weekend is um, the weekend better known as Abel or Abel Mechanon Tess Fay, known professionally by his stage name The Weeknd, is a Canadian singer, songwriter, and record producer. In late 2010, uh, The Weeknd anonymously uploaded several songs to YouTube under the name The Weeknd. Born February 16th, 1990, age 25, from Toronto. And, um... Definitely a big artist coming out from the local city, the same city I was born represents. And it's really cool to see that he blew up off of YouTube as well. Uh, he pulled a Bieber big time. Uh, Bieber was picked up off of YouTube as well. What were the Canadians really getting picked up off of YouTube? Interesting. Um, but looking at his hair, we all know um, The weekend's infamous freeform locks. And we just ask ourselves, where did they really start? And here we go. Uh, they definitely started here in um, in this photo. I don't I don't know the year that we're in on this evolution, but it starts off with his high top, a uh, little bit of afro on the top, as you can see. Um, nothing too crazy, a very average look, but it's a start. Um, as his hair grows, you see the high top getting bigger and bigger, uh, kind of like a 90s style here. Will, Will Smith probably rocked one of these. And you can also see the sides of his hair uh, growing in and, and with a curl pattern you can actually see that it would lock up rather nicely if you would just left the, the sides as well. But you know he's about, the, he's about the high top life so he's always been keeping his locks uh, trimmed, maintained, um, Tapered is a word I'm actually looking for. Um, so now uh, this is going through eras. So now he's in the Echoes of Silence era. You can see his freeform kind of showing up a bit more on the top of his head. Uh, still has the the sides really low cut, but mainly his hair was uh, about the top and about the freeforming of his crown. Uh, looking into this. Now you can actually start to see the locks starting to form. We've got Congos back here. we got twists kind of on the top. A lot of Congos happening up here. Very nappy's hairstyle, as you can see. And at this point, he's still not really tapering the sides as much. He was letting the full afro dread up. And, and in order to achieve this look, honestly, you're just going to be letting your hair grow. You're going to be letting it do its own thing embracing the freeform culture. 
Um, here we can start to see how the base begins to form of his, um, I don't know what to call this front part, but that's what he's most infamous for, is like the weekendization of the front and the back of his hair. The locks are still looking very fluffy and very light at this point. Um, the thing about freeform locks is that they will be fluffy and light for like a good eight, nine, ten months into the game. Uh, you, you won't really see any um, like condensing or maturing of the locks until you know a, a good year in when they really start to settle and harden. I was actually given some compliments in my hair that they look really light and it was a difference between interlocking. When, in, when you interlock your hair, it becomes very um, tight and dense right away. So it's a very different feeling. So we can see here that the top of his hair is actually um, starting to congo up right here into this one big dread at the front. Uh, side still being afro weave, but you can see that you know if he, would, if he were had to left these, it would have congoed up really nice. But it's all about this front part. It reminds me of a rooster's little crow thing on the top of his head. Uh, another photo here, you can see the top of his head here, the crown still con going up. Sides not growing out as much. I notice the sides will grow a lot slower opposed to the top for some reason. Um, and in, in this video, in this photo, he's referring it to as a palm tree on the top of his head. Uh, it's still growing. There's not much difference in his locks throughout these stages, but you see a little bit of slow progression. Um, here the palm tree, we're going to refer to as a palm tree from now on, uh, is starting to drop a little bit, but still maintaining uh, its shape. And uh, same with this one as well, you can see that um, actually he's been tapering the sides now. From right here, starting to taper it down a bit. And his back also is starting to dread up. And it's more like a mullet on the back of his head here. And then this palm tree at the front. Ultimately, uh, we can see another lock on the back here, really starting to congo up, really starting to form as a flat lock. And The weekend has really embraced the flat locks uh, at this stage in his life. It's interesting to see that before he was never even really photogenic. He would avoid photos at all costs. And then now when he starts showing his face out, you see how his hair actually is. And he's just like all over the camera now. Uh, silhouette of his locks. You can really see the silhouette of his uh, Congos on the side. Palm tree kind of leaning to the left at this point. Uh, and if you want to see some details here, um, you definitely see here now that his locks are tapered still and even higher tapered now. Um, and the top is just definitely like, this was now his iconic look that we know him for. The back mullet dread has been growing since into one. The front palm tree dread has been growing since into one. And actually this big flat one here uh, has started to fall down as well in his latest pictures but look at how notice a congo is happening here like flat locks will just happen on their own you see how they start off like this is from the afro these little twists here but then once these twists kind of mature they they congo together to make a bigger lock and i'm noticing this is how freeform locks usually go unless you separate them into their own but if you don't separate them this is how it's going to turn out most of the times nine times out of ten it's going to be flat for whatever reason it is, you know, it could be because your sleeping patterns, could be because of the the, um, the silk you're wearing on your hat, at, your head at night. By all means, it could be for many reasons, but it happens. And my advice is to just embrace it. Let them let them go flat. Having flat locks is an experience on its own. Um, looking at his his new growth is this pure afro. So we know he's not retwisting. He's not interlocking any such sort on these locks. Um, Going back to the whole free form is free form. I mean, I mean, if it was if it was a true free form, he wouldn't be shaving the sides. But he is letting his locks and his his roots join up on their own. A uh, closer look of his taper of his palm trees. Uh, it just seems like they've been maturing. Not much length except for this one on the back. You can kind of see that one getting longer. But compared to this photo. It seems like he had more new growth here 
opposed to right here. Uh, and then this is a uh, after the Kissland tour. Uh, we can see that. Um, I love how it, it, they stand up on end. It's really cool to see locks that have their own characteristics where they make some stand up and just be crazy. That's the whole baby lock status. I mean, I'm sure when his locks get a lot longer, they're just going to fall back or fall down in front of his face, whichever way it may be. And um, at this point now, you can really see the mullet lock happening at the back. Palm tree locks on the top, just getting taller and taller, really standing on end. Probably takes a long time for them to really drop. And uh, basically the same thing happening here. They're just standing up taller and taller at this point. And it looks like he's got like one, two, three, four, and then five locks. Honestly, he's, got, he's probably got less than 10 locks in his whole head at this point. Crazy to see. Um, and at the back here, you can kind of see like this one's curving on its own. Curving. I have one in my head that kind of curves like that. And now we see what he's more like now in the from the Earned It video in the Fifty Shades of Grey. Uh, a lot of those palm tree ones are just starting to Congo again on the top and just being one big Congo on the top and then one big Congo at the back. You can see the, the, the mullet dreads here, how they were curving um, down to the tips. They were doubled like twin tip dreads at one point and then they've grown into one. I find the whole mullet thing pretty funny, really funny. Uh, and then here it is again, and the mullet lock and then the top ones all Congoed up once again. It's just a big palm tree in the top. And it wasn't until this earned it video I really realized how his locks are just so unique at this point. Nobody in the game has locks like The Weeknd. Some people have similar style, but truly he owns this look for himself. You could say he's earned it. <laughs> and at this point, you know, hats are definitely not fitting anymore. I don't know what he's trying to pull off on this, but yeah, hats are not going to work on your hair, dude. Unless you cut a, to a hole in the roof of this hat and you can stick the dreads all the way through it, <laughs> you should. Um, so I found this picture really interesting. Um, definitely one of his newest photos. And you can see how it's looking a lot different in this photo now. Um, it looks like his palm trees have started to lay flat on the top of his head. And this is a look that we're not really used to seeing from the weekend at this point right here. So this photo definitely pretty cool. We can see his free forms really clear. Uh, color fading from the tips to his roots. Definitely the sun has been hitting it. Um, I'm curious at what he's doing for moisturization and washing. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't do it himself, but still, um, you know, when he got that much money, I'm sure he just pays someone to take care of it for him. But uh, here we see a really good silhouette, how the light shines behind him. Uh, showing you basically how his tapers are here and you got the one big mullet lock all Congoed up on the on the afro roots and the top now has all Congoed up in the afro to make one big one Because these ones were laying up here at the back, but now they're all to the front these ones to the back Basically, it's they like having two dreads on your head and that is, that is the most latest picture of him. So um, definitely a tribute to the most epic hair in the music industry per se. So there you have it. Uh, the weekend's hair definitely evolved into something uh, rather unique, rather defining of his character. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Uh, let me know what artist or YouTuber to do a review on next. I definitely need more Freeform Friday suggestions, so uh, definitely leave a comment down below. Uh, until next time, you know who it is. It's not Lax, and uh, I'm here Monday through Friday. Go check out my vlog channel. I'm there every single day. Uh, so I'll see you over there. So stay happy, stay nappy, not nations, salute. And I'll definitely see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>